Hello traders, this is Chris Morton from binaryoptions.net.au. In this video, I'll be reviewing the new binary option robot update. The latest update has added five new indicators which you can set. Um, the indicators are MACD, RSI, Stochastic Oscillator, William, and Commodity Channel Index. So if you are familiar with any of these particular indicators, um, you might you know, have more confidence in, in actually setting, setting these as another rule over um, for which um, their, their automatic robot algorithm to work on. So as an example, um, I'll do some 60 second trades just for the purpose of this video so it's a lot quicker using the MACD. So we'll have two simultaneous trades expiration date 60 seconds using a classic trading system which basically just means um, each trade entered would just be whatever I have set at twenty dollars and my broker of choice is Stockfair so we'll get auto trading going so here it's waiting for a signal alright so it's now placed to trade and it should place another one shortly So obviously the, the guys behind Binary Option Robot have, uh, have written um, a total automated um, algorithm but in, in that you can actually then have a few more settings where um, their algorithm will work off against um, one being the moving average convergence divergence which is quite a popular indicator um, that you might, might actually use yourself. Um, so that's two trades using the RSI, I'm mean, sorry, the MACD. As you can see, these both, that one's one. Oh no, it's just lost at the end there. Maybe now they actually all won. Oh no, yep, that one lost, that one won. Okay, so the next one we'll do is with RSI, which is the Relative Strength Index Indicator. Okay, so it's a waiting signal. You can choose to actually um, use all these indicators at once. I've yet to see any documentation on the site that says that all applied on the one particular um, particular trade or whether it chooses one that actually fits the indicator then places the trade for you. You can actually see here it's actually taking a bit of time to place the signal because obviously once this indicator has been set it's actually it's it's the algorithm is going to work off um, the variables set um, in the in this indicator so if those particular um, settings or variables haven't been met it's not going to actually fire off the trade I'll just see what happens if I put in a MACD whether one will come in a lot sooner or if it actually needs both indicators to be true for a trade to go through. I'll just click off RSI and see how... There you go, look, a trade's been placed straight away. So obviously the, Mac, the MACD has a, maybe a more um, broader setting for it to go through, whereas RS, RSI is a bit tighter um, before um, it can be met. So I might just put the RSI on and put three trades in and actually see if we can get one to go through.
we've had another loss on the MACD, but it also looks like another winner. I'll right, we'll try CCI. Oh, it's gone in straight away. So with this video, I'm going to post a few links where you can uh, learn up um, a bit more about the different indicators so you have a bit more of a background on what they particularly are looking for for placing trades. I'll try the Williams. We'll put that. That's gone in as well. So it has no hesitations on placing trades. You probably have to do a bit of bit of uh, testing yourself. Um, maybe you know, place twenty dollar trades just to start with to see if it's a particular indicator that, that works better. We'll try last one. We'll try. Stochastic oscillator. It's coming through there. Let's try MACD again. Okay, so another one's gone through. So far, it looks like the MACD indicators. Um, Probably the better one to use. All right, so there you go. That's what's just the purpose of this video to let you know there's actually uh, been an update on the robot um, with the five new indicators. Until next time, may all your trades be profitable.